shred lesson number one, dude. I got to get some shred gear going here. Let's see if I can shred this thing out a little bit. Um, yeah, that's more probably a, a better tone right there. Okay, so definitely shredder material, right? Um, so when when you're playing, um, when you want to play more fast, okay, you got to practice things, and and so what you got to do is you got to do a lot of repetition of a lot of just little things, and then as you do repetition of little things then all of a sudden you'll be able to play like bigger things. So for instance, if you if you can't do like if you can't um let me ooh, let me turn that down. Ooh, whoa, whoa. But if you can't play like um just something like that It's going to be hard for you to move into a. A full scale playing fast or. A three octave scale to play fast. So and that's kind of what we're doing. By the way, I cut my nail, so I'm not going to be able to play really too well right now just because I chopped them all off and I don't have a pick and I don't play with the pick really. So um, um, I'm going to do my best, but you guys will get the picture. So what we want to work on always in playing fast in, is we need to first learn scales and then um, we want to be able to just like take a section of that scale and just minimize it. And that way we can develop um, some technique first. So let's just do like something like we worked on or I just did. Um, but we'll do it up here on the 12th fret. So we'll start on the 12th and then we'll kind of work our way um, just, just in a simple pattern. So what we're going to do is take just a minor kind of look uh, of, of a scale. Um, so if we just took this E, right, so we're on the 12th. And all we're going to do is just go one, three, four. But if you look at the pattern of it, it's going to be, uh, I'm going to go a whole step, and then I'm going to go half step. And then on the next uh, string, the fifth string, I want you to do the same thing. So that's all I'm, That's all I want you to work with right now because we're just going to develop some things over that. I'm going to actually take it off this um, distortion thing just because it's too much. Um, so it's just – so can you see that good? That's all I'm doing. And I'm picking uh, – I'm like, I'm like using a pick over here. And I'm muting a little bit of my guitar. So when you're playing these these kind of scales, sometimes you can leave your wrist real loose and you don't have any pressure on the neck or on the on the bridge, what's called the bridge. Um, and it just rings out. Every note rings out. But then sometimes what you want to do when you're playing fast is you want to actually deaden that that uh, over, that note from ringing. So you just kind of flatten your your hand on the bridge. You hear that? So it kind of deadens it a little bit. That's open. See, that just lets it ring. That's ringing. That's deadened. So you can hear it. It's, it's muted, what we call muted, right? So in guitar, you can play like – you can mute. I'm leaning my fat onto this bridge. And it's almost like a pizzicato. Anyway, 
um, hopefully when I play those little riffs that inspires you to go, man, I want to learn stuff. So that's what it always did with me when I was younger. Um, so take one, whole step, half step, next string. And now let's just do this. Like, and you can do this on piano or you can do this on guitar, however you want, but this is how you develop little patterns. So if you just did this minor pattern of one, two, three, but you're doing whole or half step, then a or whole step, then a half step, next string, whole step, half step. So all you're doing is going. And you can work on the muting of it a little bit. Now, what I want you to understand is that if you can't, what you want to do is you want to be able to play this quick, of course, if you want to learn how to play faster and be more dexterous, stuff like that. But you have to start off slow. And really, really on beat. Right? Bum, 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 bum. So you might even need to get a metronome out. And, you know, and what's cool is you can go online. Like if I just went online right now and we just did metronome, you guys know this, right? You can just go metronome online. Let's bring up, oh, look at that. Google's got it. We just, we'll put it at 122 beats per minute. So you can hear that. So I'm, I was messing around there at the end, but we'll turn it up. So now we're going to 160 beats per minute. So just try to do that over and over. Okay, so what am I doing? Okay, so now what I'm doing is if I can get this down, then maybe I can get this down. Maybe I can get this down. So basically what it is is this is the same thing, right? So it's I'm just going to the octave and then the octave. So I'm just playing that pattern. So if I can get this down That little pattern now becomes a little little thing of my soloing. Oh, that's in G major, but G minor. Now all of a sudden you got a little riff going. Now that's that's skipping. That's a little advanced, but um, you can get the idea of what's going on. So just work on. Now, sometimes when you're sitting in front of the TV and you, you got your show on, right, it's really cool because you can just sit there. And this is the great thing about guitar is you can just sit there and, and really not bother anybody. Because you could just kick back and, you know, your your spouse or whoever, your kids are watching shows or something, and you're just hanging out with them. But you just get your guitar, you know, and just go super quiet. If I didn't have this electric plugged in, you wouldn't even hear it. And then you So what you're doing is you're just you're just trying to go faster and faster and faster and faster. Now what's going to happen um, when you're sitting in front of your TV and you're doing this is you're going to just you're going to just 
chud out, man. You're just going to bail so bad. I don't even know if chud out's a word. But you're just gonna bail. You're just gonna. It's gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna start off on all, all nice. And then you're just gonna. And it's just gonna crash. Your fingers aren't gonna be doing it. Now the reason why your fingers aren't gonna be doing it fast is because it's not used to doing things fast. And when you're not used to doing things fast, it your your brain is going like, what are you doing? I don't understand this. So you have to just keep it mellow, keep it slow. And then every now and then, man, just every now and then would do a burst, what we used to call speed bursts when I was learning. Now, when I grew up um, in the Paul Gilbert era of guitar in Southern California, so we used to go see guys like Paul Gilbert and Bruce Bouillet and George Lynch and Tony McAlpine. And, of course, it was Satriani and Vi and those guys too. But um, – for us and our money in Southern California, we would we would go see Racer X any day and watch these these two guys, uh, Bruce Brie and uh, Paul Gilbert, shred away. But when you learn from these guys and you under and and from the guys that they learned from or that that they taught, you you would go through these speed bursts. So what that means is that when you take the little pattern that we went over, can you do that? Can you do just ascending fast? Can you, or, or when do you when do you peter out? Like at what stage of the game do you peter out? So sometimes it's good to you know put on your your metronome. So you can see that if you start petering out, if you start getting up there, it's 211 beats per minute. That's fast. Um, I can I can kind of get there, right? I, I can kind of get there at times where I'm, I'm almost on it, and then it, it's it's super fast though. But what I mean is when you put on a metronome too, you can see where you're speedering out. You can you can kind of go, oh man, at, at at you know 120, I am just um um you know, I'm falling apart here. And then that's okay, just back it up a titch and just go back. Just go back to simple. But the burst, you always want to just go one way. That's that's descending. And what you're doing is as you're playing, you're feeling. And you're feeling how how it's going. As I'm playing faster, am I feeling it right? Is it is it hitting right? Um, again, I'm not even playing with a pick, so it's it's kind of weird right now. I barely even got any nail. I just shaved it the other day. But um, but you're you're trying to feel it. But the point of the speed burst is that if you can get a quick boom. If you can get it quick, you can get your brain to start thinking more faster, you know, because that's the hard part is, see, some people just play all the time, you know. Hey, Austin, that was for you. But uh, you can play like, you know, you can play that, you know, like we play in more like a, a you know, because we're in a band or something, we're playing more rhythm or we're playing and all of our solos are just, you know, you know, kind of that 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 just in rhythm kind of feel, right? We're not really going up into you know sixteenth, sixty fourth notes, even you know where we're cranking in, at that speed burst. You know, so when you're playing, that usually doesn't go well with a lot of people's tunes. Let's face it. But if you want to learn to get into those 64th notes, you got to work on the bursts because, again, you're not going to be able to play a full three octave scale fast if you can't play the burst. So, you know what I mean? Hey, Austin, it's awesome seeing you, buddy. 
So I hope you're getting that just right now that, okay, uh, you know, like, so you've heard people say like, hey, I'm just going to learn a scale. It doesn't work like that. I mean, it really doesn't. You can learn a scale. And, and, and that's great, but you know what? It, 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 to play a solo, you usually don't just go through that scale, da, 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 you know, or that kind of thing up and down all the time. Um, you know, what we do is we work on little motives within a scale. And so we want to work on our speed to start developing those little motives, those little things. So that's why I'm giving you this one. Because it's simple, it is the beginning of a scale, but it's one that you can now just work on your burst. So that's just ascending. Now the cool thing about this is I'll give you another caveat and then we'll, uh, uh, we'll be done with this first little lesson. Um, but we can, we can utilize these, this, this mentality in a lot of different things that we're going to talk about. Um, but check this out. Like if you just develop these six notes and you can start developing a little speed on these notes, then what you can do, you could start kind of manipulating the six notes a little bit. And so this is the fun part of guitar is we can start kind of tricking things out. So we'll take this. So our little, our little minor riff here. And then what we do is instead of just doing this, Next time we do it, we're going to go one short of the complete little six note pattern. So we're just going to go one short. So, And then the next time we'll go one more short. So two short of the original. So hopefully you got that. So basically what that is, is that what's cool about that is you can now develop this really cool like little riff if you start developing your dexterity and your speed. Again, just work on your speed burst and try to work on your speed, but then you can come back to the original just understanding, uh, get your fingers back onto the right patterns, make sure everything's good with your right and your left and everything. And then you can start working on a little, well, one short, two short. So this is cool because you can go. So what that's doing is I'm, I'm just using the octaves and I'm playing that little pattern. So you know, when you when you play, when some when someone's jamming, you know they're in. So you you're playing all these little. So you're playing all these little motives, which is cool, man. It's fun. You got to make the, the the face too. That's the good part. So, so that's that's how we can end this. Is playing. So it's kind of cool. It sounds like so it's you kind of make these little patterns and we're going to be able to do many other patterns. Believe me. So you think of all the scales right on the on the guitar to so many different scales. Right. And how they all mesh together. Those are just like, I just went over a, like some pentatonic and some just modal stuff. But you can see how all these things kind of, you can play all over the neck in these scale patterns. But within those patterns, there's a billion little bursts that are, are just waiting to be shredded. And all you need to do is just take a little section of it and just work on it. Just work on that little section. It could be just this.
So when you're doing when that's what they're doing when you're playing shredding scales. That's what they're doing is they're They're just playing little sections of those things and they're just jamming it. Just just playing playing all these bursts. But the first thing to play fast is you have to get your hands and your brain to be working together. So in order to do that, start off small. Speed up. Use your metronome. You can play it again without any muting. Or you can mute with your fat on the on the bridge. So that's what we're going to start with. And we're just going to work on this all the time. We're going to be talking about these things all the time. So we can get into, we'll get into arpeggios and stuff like that and how these things work, you know, uh, um, which is really cool too. And how they kind of mix in with all your scales and stuff like that. But it, it's, it's important because you guys are home right now. You guys can just sit in front of the TV and you guys can just get out your guitar and just work on these little patterns. And then we're just working on this little minor one right now. So that's what we're going to do, okay? So hopefully that'll help you. Again, with the piano, you can do that too. That'd be awesome, huh? They always told you, by the way, in music school, if you can't sing it, you can't play it. So I don't know how true that is really, but... Um, Try to try to try to shred with your mouth, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, anyway, I hope this helped you guys a little bit and gives you something to work on with your guitar playing um, to become more of a lead kind of guitar player and not just the uh, regular, you know, chord guy. So um, anyway, we'll talk to you guys soon. Let me know if this helped you guys a little bit, and gave you something to work on. And then next uh, time, we'll work on something else as well. So take care, be safe, and stay away from everybody. <laughs> no, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.